Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're gonna to talk about the context menu. So the context menu may be a term you've heard before, or maybe not. I guess it means the same thing whether you've heard of it or not. The idea behind the context menu is it shows you information or tools that can be used that are tailored to certain selected items. So in the other versions of SketchUp, this is often referred to as the right-click menu. So if you select some geometry, right-click, you get a pop-up and it has a bunch of different options of things you can do that are specifically available to whatever is selected. So if you have a group versus raw geometry, the options inside will change slightly. This is available on SketchUp for iPad, but it doesn't work the same because there's no right click in SketchUp for iPad. Uh, instead, we use intelligence. So the context menu shows up when you may need it, which is really cool and it makes it very easy to use. And we're gonna hop in and take a look at it right now. All right, so here I am. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use lasso select real quick to select some geometry. Notice right now, the menu's not up. And as soon as I come in here and finish this selection, See that menu show up at the bottom? That is the context menu. We're gonna take a look at what all it contains right now. It is important to note that this, it doesn't matter how you select geometry. If I had used my finger, if I brought my mouse in, any way that happens, this menu is gonna pop up. Um, this menu is editable, so I can grab it and I can slide it around wherever I want. I can dock it. See, there's an option to dock right there. Um, I can put it right in the middle. I'm gonna put it right here just so I don't cover it up with my pencil as I'm showing you stuff, but uh, it is all, all can go wherever you like best. Uh, something else you'll note is when you click and drag, little names show up. It actually shows you the names, just for a second there, of what all the commands are. So if you ever forget what they are, rather than just using them and finding out, you can just click and hold on the, the toolbar itself. You drag it just a little bit, those, those names will pop up. All right, so as we buzz through here, I have some pretty basic ones. I have cut and copy. Cut, of course, is just going to you know, remove it from the model, be gone. Copy, will put it on the, on the uh, clipboard so I could come in and I could paste it back in. Speaking of which, you see, did you see how that just changed? Because I put something on the clipboard, I got a different option here. Now I have the option of paste and paste in place. These are options that I didn't necessarily have before I had copied something to the clipboard. So very cool, and again, one of the things that's nice about a context menu is when it does do that sort of thing and shows you information or options based on what's selected. I have some other options over here. I have the option of making a group or making a component. If I go ahead and click make a group, now it is in a group. So make a group went away. I still have make a component, and over here I have explode. Again, not options that would all be available when I had just raw geometry selected. Because raw geometry can't be exploded, there was no explode. Because it wasn't in a group, I could have then used make a group, where now I could change this group into a component or explode it. And then I have a little trash can. You guys probably could figure out what that does. Over here, I do have a select option. So I can click to show a couple of options for what I could do with select. So I can select all with the same tag, so everything is on the select tag, or I can invert the selection. So that's gonna flip everything from selected to unselected and vice versa. So those are things that are showing up based on my selection here. If I click the dot, 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 the ellipse over here, I'm gonna get a whole lot more options. So there's more stuff in here, obviously, than I could, if we put these all as icons, uh, you know, it would fill a good portion of the screen. So we have some options here of the less commonly used commands. So I have options in here like hide, so I can undo uh, that, you know, hide, hide from myself, hide it so I can't see it anymore. Um, I have some other options. I'm gonna make it a group again. I'm gonna make it a group. And then I have this option here of locking. Locking, of course, makes it so you can't use it. Um, I can edit the group, so open the group. Same as I would, would happen if I double click. We'll go into more of these in individual uh, lessons where we actually talk about things like working with groups. But know that a lot of these options are here. We have some other options down here when we come down to the bottom, uh, things like flip along. So I can actually take this and flip it along the green axis, for example, and it's gonna show, whoops, red axis. 
and it's going to flip the opposite way. Blue axis will flip it upside down. Um, that sort of thing. Those options are in there. Very quick, very easy to do. Flip along green didn't work, of course, because it's symmetrical along the green axis, but that's generally the way I use flip along. I do it wrong, and then I come back and do it right afterwards. Uh, but the important thing here is as you're using SketchUp for iPad, when you go in and you start modifying geometry, selecting it, keep an eye out for this toolbar right here. Again, it's going to show up automatically. It's going to have tools that are immediately relevant to the selected geometry. So if there's something I can't do with a group, it's not going to show up here. If there's things that I can do with a group but not raw geometry, like explode, that's going to show up. The context menu is a great and quick way to modify selected geometry in just a tap or two. That's pretty much what I can think. The thing about the context menu is to go through and show everything that it does would mean going into so many different workflows at once. We have like an hour long video here. So what's gonna happen now is as we make additional videos and we start talking about locking groups or making groups, um, we will go into more depth in some of those context menus, but because the way that the context menu is different than it is in other versions of SketchUp, I felt like it was a good idea to just do a video just on how it works. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. The most important though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you like how the context menu works in SketchUp for iPad? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.